Gentleman yields. The chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Estevez, the Institute of Forensic Sciences, I'm sure you're familiar, uh, located in East Turkestan, used to aid and assist in the um, genocide and the experimentation on the Uyghurs. Um, I'm curious about your delisting that entity in November of last year. Can you walk me through that, the rationale? Thank you, uh, Congressman Perry. Uh, first, the listing was for human rights violations, as you note. Uh, we, of course, uh, I shouldn't say of course, we take human rights uh, concerns seriously. There are 70 or so parties on the entity list uh, related to human rights violations. Uh, this institute, which is a Chinese uh, uh, state organization uh, engaged in uh, crime control, uh, it was certainly uh, uh, engaged in uh, bad things uh, with regard to the Uyghurs. In fact, receives no exports from, no exports of note. Like a couple uh, of things. Uh, look, that, that's all like superfluous background information. Uh, I'm but, asking but it's about pertinent the to the to the fact that you're asking about. So the delisting of that went through process. The normal process requires a four-zero vote across the interagency. It got a four-zero vote, uh, and as a result of that, the Chinese have engaged in cooperation for uh, stopping fentanyl precursors from flowing to. Uh, Mexico and other yeah, places. That, that's Fentanyl working out real yeah. well. So uh, what I'm interested in, okay, so it got a 4-0 vote. I don't care about that. That's group think or whatever. 150 Americans me. dead a day from fentanyl. And yeah, I know. Fentanyl. And, and they keep dying more and more. The point is, is that's not working. The Chinese gave us lip service, and we delisted this organization that is hiding the, the fact that they're using the Uyghur for genetic experimentation and then manip manipulation and potentially warfare against them and us. But that aside, tell me about what factors went into the decision. The factors that went into the decision related to Chinese cooperation related to fentanyl precursor, stopping fentanyl okay, so, precursors. So, so it re relates to the fentanyl precursor manufacturer delivery to Mexico and so on and so forth. How is that being measured? What's the metric of success that says, if we, d we do list, you're going to do this, and this is measurable how? Is it in the deaths of Americans that's increasing every year by fentanyl or not? It's in stopping the deaths of Americans, Congressman. So is that working? Are you saying that we're stopping the deaths of fentanyl? Is that your testimony? I'm saying that we're stopping the flow of precursors related to this action. You we're stopping. So that's your testimony. The precursors are being stopped. The precursors of fentanyl are being stopped that, because of this. That's the goal, Congressman. I'm sorry? That's the goal, Congressman. I, I, I get it's the goal. Yeah. That's a great goal. But when it doesn't happen, because China says, yeah, we'll do it. If it and doesn't then, happen, then we can turn that around. So how long, how many deaths are we going to wait? How many does that cost? As you know, Congressman, it doesn't, just like any other thing with control. Well, I, look, I'm just looking for the metrics, sir. I'm not trying to be difficult, I, I, but... I'm going to turn it over to Undersecretary Fernandez to tell you how... Well, I got other questions for Secretary Fernandez, but I, I think I... Well, I'm sorry? We, we run the process for delisting. The actions that are taken are being done in other agencies other than my own. Yeah, so, so that everybody can do this and people can keep dying. Mr. Fernandez, regarding the DOE's decision on LNG exports of January of this year. Did you object to the decision? No. So you act as though we've had other reviews, and this is similar to that one. But on the other reviews that have occurred, has there been any pause as a relation to the review? <clears throat> I, As, I, had, I, I can't tell you what has been Let done me tell you, past. there have been none. So right now we're talking about the pause that's happening <laughs> is for contracts that are being bid for 2030. For 2030, let me ask you this. The other countries that we might be competing with or that, that, that are strategic adversaries to the United States, to say the least, do you think that they're concerned with environmental justice issues when they make considerations about their LNG production and exports? I like Iran. Do you think that's a topic for Iran? By, by 2030, 
right now, without with the existing guidance, we will have doubled. It doesn't okay, matter, so, oh, sir. Let, let me finish. Let me finish, please. Uh, and clean energy and, and 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 climate are are critical issues to this administration. Now, you, you, we can argue about climate change. We can get into that. But as far as we are concerned, so so my we, question it, for it is you, the existential okay, challenge of our time. I, it's great if it's doubled, tripled, quadrupled. That that's irrelevant to me. The question is is what other countries that we're competing with are considering environmental justice? Countries like Iran. It, it is not about environmental justice. Well, it says so. If, if that, may, that's if, one of the considerations, if, wasn't if I, it? If I may. Sir? If I may. I'm it, listening. It is not about environmental justice. It's it, about so that was not one of the considerations? It, it is not about, and, and again, we are doubling. I'm just asking, sir, was that one of the considerations? Which one? Environmental? Environmental justice. The, the, in the pause. One of the considerations was to allow DOE, the Department of Energy, to conduct an assessment based on trans And was the, one of the things that they were assessing environmental justice? You will have to ask the You're the, sir, you, it says energy in your title. Don't ask, you know this? You will have to ask, DOE is conducting the assessment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield.